If you're an art lover, you'll want to be sure to check out the Artist of the Month display at the atrium of Warren City Hall this month. Reporter Wanta Kaufman has more. Wanta? I kind of like take pictures and uh, then I start sketching them and putting them down and uh, painting them up and adding some other, you know, other um, colors and whatever I feel looks really good in a, in a painting to finish it. And that's how Marlene Wakeford became an award-winning artist. And this month, Warren Tri-County Fine Arts named Wakeford the Artist of the Month. Every year I would enter the state fair for a professional artist. And this year I actually took fourth place, which I was really thrilled. Although she loves to be competitive, she still finds time to give back to the community and teach seniors to paint. In Florida, I teach seniors how to watercolor, and it's so rewarding because um, you know, to see the seniors have, they have never ever picked up a brush before and then in eight weeks they come out with at least two paintings. It's, it's really awesome. It's never too late to appreciate fine art, so a little advice for anyone who may be interested from the Artist of the Month, Marlene Wakeford. Don't ever feel you don't have talent because that special teacher will bring out what you think you don't have. I'm Wanta Kaufman for TV Warren News. Checking traffic nine mile from DeQuinder to Ryan is down to just one lane for construction. You will only be able to travel eastbound through this stretch. Westbound travelers need to take eight or ten miles to get around this construction zone. And 14 mile near the Maple Lane Golf Course that remains closed to through traffic for bridge repairs. You can take 12 or 13 mile road to get around that. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Megan O'Brien will be in with this week's community calendar. And Adam Bullis is in with sports, so stay tuned. The Warren Parks and Recreation Farmer's Market is just around the corner every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come check out a wide variety of produce, flowers, and many different farmers from the area. The Warren Farmer's Market is located at Warren City Square, north of 12 Mile. Call 586 268-8400 for more information. Come see what the Warren Farmers Market has in store for you. Megan O'Brien sits in now with this week's Community Calendar, Megan. Thank you very much, Enver. Well, we've got some great events coming up. Let's check them out. There's a new procedure for DVD purchases. Here is the new easy procedure. Request forms are available at the communications front desk. This is a green form. You can complete the form here and we will fill in the total fee, $20 per DVD or VHS, with an additional fee for mailing, which is $2 per DVD and $4 per VHS. Then you take the form to the Parks and Recreation main desk to make payment. We will then call you when your DVD is ready for pickup or mail the DVD or VHS. Call 258-2000 if you have any questions about this new and easy DVD purchase process. The Roseville High School class of 1960 is having their 50th reunion on July 24th at Zaccaro's in Clinton Township. For more information, call Marilyn at 248-828-3996. Cusno High School class of 1970 is celebrating their 40th class reunion at Marriott Renaissance Center, downtown Detroit, the weekend of July 23rd to the 25th. Dinner at Andiamo's on July 24th. Call Vic at 561-306-6150 or go to www.cusno1970.com for more information. The Centerline High School class of 2011 is running an entertainment book fundraiser for their all-night class party. The cost of the book is $25. Anyone interested should contact John Grassi at jgrassi at cityofwarren.org or by phone at 258-2041. Volunteer with the state's Innovative Mentoring Program of the Year to inspire and prepare our youth to bring a better tomorrow to Michigan. To learn more, be a guest on Friday, June 11th from 7.30 to 9 a.m. at the Sterling Inn Conference Center. Call 586-698-4387 or visit winningfutures.org to register by June 1st. The Alzheimer's Association is holding a memory walk on August 28th. Tickets are only $5. 
Call 574-4631 for more information. Join the Lincoln Neighborhood Association of South Warren. There are monthly meetings every first Friday of each month at 7 p.m. at the Owen Jacks Rec Center on Nine Mile near Van Dyke. If you live in this area, join this group to help improve Warren South End. Call 586-754-7943 or go to lincolnneighborhoodassociation.org for more information. Come check out a fun patio party at the Vintage House Patio on Thursday, June 17th at 5 p.m., $20 per person. That includes hamburgers, hot dogs, one alcoholic beverage, and a business card holder. Come to the 26th Shane Street Picnic on Saturday, July 31st at 10 a.m. at Holmich Park on 13 Mile between Ryan and DeQuinda Roads. There will be lots of friends and memories. Call Tony Police at 586-573-6002 or Bob at 586-791-5920. The Warren Beautification Club is hosting the Residential Recognition Award Program from June 15th through August 15th. Criteria includes creative gardens, neat yards, and overall fine maintenance. Call Carol Peterson at 586 575 9272 to nominate that special someone. The Cusno Sideliners is having a charity poker event at Pampa Center on Van Dyke, July 14th through the 17th, from 5.30 till 2 a.m. Help support Cusno football teams. The Warren Civic Theater is having a pancake fundraiser on June 19th from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Cost is $6 per person. Call 268-8400 for a reservation or go to warrencivic.org for more information. Parisian Clothing Store is hosting a private shopping event to benefit CARES Children's Programs. On Sunday, June 13th at 6.30 to 9 p.m., Tickets are $5 and will include an additional 20% shopping pass on regular or sale price merchandise. Tickets are available in advance at CARE or at Parisian Partridge Creek Mall. Tickets will be available at the door as well. Come to the Community Garden Planning Meeting on Thursday, June 10th at 7 p.m. at the Warren Community Center on Arden. If you have any questions or comments, please call Kelly at 586-258-2039. And if you have any questions or comments about any of these events, call me at 258-2018. Lori and Enver. Good. Right. Thank you, Megan. Thanks, Lots Megan. of good stuff. Yeah. And I understand that garden meeting that's coming up, this is something new, right? Correct. Just... Yes. Uh, upstairs at the Community Center, thir uh, Thursday, June 10th at 7 p.m. Perfect. Should be great. Good. Right. So check it out if you're interested. Great. Thanks. <laughs>